Richard here at NAM 2020 talking to Perfect Circuit. They've asked me to give you an explanation, a really interesting question on the cascading delay network, not a run through of the exact feature set, but sort of the, the idea behind it and why we made this module. So really the idea, we always, I'm a delay nut. And we always in Pittsburgh module, we kind of have sort of skunk works, delay projects always kind of happening in the background. And some of them come to the market and some of them don't, but we're always trying to do something unique and interesting, especially with time-based effects, with delay effects. And the cascading delay network is something that we thought, no, this is really too interesting to keep to ourselves. So the idea behind it is we're taking four delays and we're using them to get more than the sum of their parts. So behind the scenes, what we have is an analog switching network where we can reroute the outputs and inputs and feedback paths of all the delays at the press of a button, allowing for different modes that give the user a lot of different sounds. So we can create you know, soundscapes and drones or four independent delays. And that's sort of, that was the goal, is to say, how can we take something that's relatively straightforward, like a delay, and create something really unique with it. We started the first version of this, we had four BBDs set up. It was our analog delay unit, essentially. We just rewired them together and then added the, the matrix in the background. What we found when we tapped eight BBDs together, though, was that the noise floor just kept growing and growing and growing. It really wasn't usable. It didn't have the sound that we were looking for, and also, a BBD delay is going to give you about three-tenths of a second of nice, clean sound, which I think is fine for something like our analog delay unit module, which, you know, it's BBD and that's kind of what you're expecting. But if you're going to use 28 HP on a module, I think the user is going to expect more delay time out of it, and it's going to be clean. So we switched from a BBD core to a PT2399 chip core. And that chip's interesting for a lot of reasons. It has a long history in the guitar pedal community, and also people have been using it in your rack for a while as well. The origins of that chip, you know, it was originally designed to be a reverb chip for karaoke machines. So it kind of has an interesting background on its own. So each one of our four delays has this great PT2399 chip in it. So we were allowed to offer up to 600 milliseconds now of clean delay on each channel. If you flip the module over, there's some trimmers back there that you can actually dial them up to, if you want, up to 2.8 seconds per channel. If you do that, though, you're, it's gonna get really grungy and really dirty and really gnarly. But, you know, maybe that's what you're looking for. Maybe you adjust one that way, you leave the rest the same. But it's very flexible. The routing behind this is insane. We, the chips, we're using analog switching chips, so there's about 60 analog switches behind the scenes, and what that allows us to do is, at a press of a button, switch between different modes and completely rewire the back end of this module, creating different types of effects and different ways to interact it. So if you wanted to use it as two stereo delays, or if you wanted to use it as one stereo delay and, and two mono delays, or one giant delay with one feedback path, it's all there. But again, because we have all this is available to press of a button and we had access to all these points, there's a few bonkers things we thought were interesting. Like, what if we enable all the feedback paths that are available? So, you know, you have one delay signal, but you have nine independent feedback paths going on. Little things like that that you can't do just patching one delay into another or with a standard delay that is sort of one loop. So we're taking the idea of delay and saying, okay, let's, let's just go crazy with it and expand on that in what is as analog of a realm as we can get using these, you know, PT, these di little digital PT2399 chips. Kind of an interesting concept. I think it sounds amazing. Hopefully you think so as well. Perfect Circuit's absolutely gonna have them when you're ready to get one. And Thanks for watching.